So is Hospitable a good value software? What I would say is yes, and the reason why it is is because, like I said, everyone has busy lives, we work jobs, and if you can eliminate a process of your day where it's automated and our guests feel like they're heard and they're seen and they don't have to have as many questions or their questions are answered right away as opposed to waiting for us to get off work or waiting for a couple hours to get a response back, um, that's priceless. Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm a short-term rental host and I use Hospitable. So I got into short-term renting probably about a year ago. It would be a year in May. It is a lot more hands-on. You have to worry about turnover quite a bit. You have to worry about it being clean. How is it left? Did the person trash the place? Do I have to redo the whole entire property again? So there are a lot of different uh, pros and cons to both. Uh, well, what are some of the things that I like about short-term rental? You're basically showing someone a brand new city that they're not used to, and people are excited about seeing the city. Like Toronto and where ours is located is in a fantastic pocket of the, the downtown core. People want to explore. They want to know where the cute bars and restaurants and activities are. So I like being able to share that with other people. We're located in the Annex. It is a very vibrant neighborhood. It is walking distance to everything. We can walk to Yorkville. We can walk to the downtown center core where there's bars, restaurants, but even just off of this street, you have access to subway. Um, UFT is around the corner from here as well. So if you're visiting your kids at university, it's a great place. If you're trying to shop for campuses and see what school you want to go to, it's a great Airbnb to stay at and figure out your options. So some of the great features about our Airbnb has to do with this incredible spiral staircase right in the middle of it. It's actually what made me fall in love with this house and probably one of the main reasons why I purchased it. Um, we did have an interior designer do this space, which is fantastic. You can actually tell the detail that was put into it. It doesn't feel like a normal Airbnb that has Ikea furniture. It actually all was customized to the space. So if you take a look around, you'll notice that the place, every single piece of it was curated to this space. The reason why we started using Hospitable and how we kind of got set up onto it was because of our smart lock. We were having a lot of difficulties setting it up and we stumbled onto this platform. Now, after we stumbled onto it, it was very minimal amount of effort, I would say, in terms of getting our Airbnb connected to it. The service support that Hospitable provides is unparalleled, so we can reach out to them at any time and they'll help us set up anything that we need. The reason why this website's so fantastic when it comes to managing the lockbox system is because it can change your code automatically. So instead of you having to worry about when your guests check in and check out, the code is auto-generated, a new code will come in for each guest that you have staying at your property, and then the old code is terminated by the end of it. Some of the things that I like about the platform is the fact that you can automate from start to finish the onboarding process of any guest. So when they first check in, they get a welcome message from us, they get any of the how to check in guidelines, they get how to get to the property because it can be a little tricky if you haven't been here before. Um, they get a message from us with automation. So for example, if they ask us if our property has AC, if they have any of those um, most asked questions, they're already automated into the system. So our guests get responses right away. So that does help even with our own rating. So our rating stays high just because we're using the platform. So we use it for communication with cleaners as well. The nice thing about it is when our guests are checking in or out, our cleaners also know about that. So they, it's all automated. We don't, like we're really hands off. The cleaners take care of it. The lock boxes or the lock codes are changed. We don't have to do as much as you would have to do if you had to manage it all yourself. The most valuable thing ever is time. So if I can eliminate a portion of my day, why wouldn't I do that? So why wouldn't I save my time and use an app that is tailored towards solving a problem, which is saving me time. So have someone else automate changing my codes, have someone else automate the automatic responses that come for the most asked questions. Have someone automate when the cleaners are coming in. Why wouldn't that be a benefit if I don't have to think about it? My guests check in and out and sometimes I don't even know they checked in and out. The app takes care of it all for me. Like, yes, I do know, there's not, it's not fully hands off, but there's a huge portion of time that you save when everything's automated. What I would say is Hospitable has drastically changed the amount of time we spend on our short-term rental. So previously we were probably using about two hours of time each week taking care of the short-term rental. Now we're probably using about 25 minutes a week. 
So it's cut back a lot of the time that we have to spend on stressing out about if the door code was changed properly, if the cleaners checked in or checked out, like it automated everything. So some of the most common questions that we get from guests that are automated is A, how do we find the entrance for the property? Um, also, does the property have AC? Which it does, it just, you know, some people wanna know where the clicker is located. Um, and some of the other options too are like, where are good restaurants to hit? So like, what's close to here, where can we go? And if it's all automated, like, yes, you could technically get back to them in a timely manner, but we work. So you have a full-time job, I have a full-time job. If your full-time job is tailoring to customer service and hosting Airbnb or hosting a hotel service, it'd be really difficult. So it's really nice to have some level of automation so I guess feel like they're not forgotten. So advice I would give someone that's their first time getting into the short-term rental space is figure out if the municipality first allows it before you do it. And second, don't try and figure out everything on your own. Like it's really, really hard to be a landlord in general, just in the long-term sector. In the short-term, everything's just accelerated. So people are moving in and out all the time. So if you have the ability to pay a little bit of extra money a month and have it all managed for you, it will drastically change your experience with the short-term rental market. I would recommend they attend one of your webinars or one of your seminars and get to know the platform and get to know how to be the best as possible. Yeah.